Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So last time we have been discussing about routines and functions and we have seen a few new commands such as sub and sub to define subroutines or routines, function and function to define functions and then the command call uh, to call a subroutine. And this has practically concluded our explanation of BASIC and in particular QBASIC. Uh, in this video we are going to start a new direction uh, which is practically the direction of 8-bit and 16-bit uh, BASICs. And the very first uh, BASIC that we are going to see today is the Amiga, uh, Amiga BASIC uh, that um, compares very, very well with QBASIC. In other words, if you know QBASIC, you already know Amiga BASIC. And I'm going to show you that this is the case. Uh, why this is the case? First of all, for historical reasons. Uh, you have to bear in mind that QBASIC and Amiga BASIC have been created by exactly the same company, which was at the time Microsoft, and this was in the middle of the 80s, so practically they were created in the same time period. Um, to follow the examples that I'm going to show today, you will need to install an emulator on your machine, and the emulator that I suggest to you is UA in case you don't have an Amiga machine um, that, uh, that uh, works. Uh, you will also need to get your hands on Workbench 1.3, which is the operating system of the Amiga, especially the Amiga 500. And you will also need to get a copy of Xtras 1.3. Uh, usually these two uh, were uh, shipping with the machine, so if you still have a machine around, you can, you can actually get this, um, this, uh, the operating system and the extras uh, from that machine. Uh, there are many tutorials that explain how to install UAE and how to, to get workbench and extras. And of course we are going to go through examples, all these examples will be uh, performed on the Amiga or on the emulator of the Amiga and we will use Amiga BASIC. So a few useful links are reported here but you will find them also in the description below. Uh, if you are looking for UAE, uh, in particular I suggest you to go to this link here and if you have a Windows machine and you would like to install this emulator on your Windows machine, uh, I suggest you to go through this link here. And as usual, I want to thank all of you that are subscribing to this channel, that are following my videos and that are sharing my videos. This is a very nice way to encourage me and to let me understand that you want to see more of these videos. So thank you so much for doing this. Let's start with the first example. Let's say that, for example, we want to print uh, the value or let's say random values and we want to print a hundred random values. So the thing that we can do is we define a for loop that goes from one to a hundred and we close the for loop here and then we use the command print and we use the command rnd1, which is practically the same you would do in QBASIC. So if we now try to run this, this is what we get. So we run the code, and as you can see, we have two columns. In the first column, we have the index i of the for next loop, and then in the second column, we have essentially random numbers that have been generated. And as you can see, the code is exactly the same as you would like, uh, you would have in QBASIC. So the resemblance between the two um, interpreters is, uh, is uh, very, very close, which means that if you know QBASIC, you already know Amiga BASIC. Let's try now a second example and let's suppose that we would like to convert the temperature in Fahrenheit to Celsius and the temperature in Fahrenheit ranges from 100 to 200 in steps of 10. 
So we can define, for example, here um, a for loop that goes from 100 to 200 in steps of 10. We close the loop here and then we say that the variable temp uh, uh, is equal to I, which is essentially the temperature in Fahrenheit. And now we convert this temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius in the usual way. So we multiply five times the value of the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32.0 divided by uh, 9.0. And now to see what happens, we want to print all of these on the screen. So as you can see, the code here is extremely similar to what you would get uh, in QBasic. Actually, it is exactly what you would get in QBasic. So let's try now to run this code just to see what happens if the behavior is the same. So we type run and we enter. And as you can see, this is exactly the same behavior you would have in QBasic. So essentially, this is a second example that shows you that if you know QBasic, you already know how to program your Amiga in Amiga Basic. And let's show a final example here. Let's say that we want to um, calculate, we want to compute the sum of the first, let's say, n, n numbers. And let's say that n is equal to 100. So how would we do this in Amiga Basic? Well, essentially, you are going to see that it's exactly equal to what you would do in QBasic. So first thing, we define a variable n that is equal to 100. Then we define another variable which is equal to zero. And then we define a for loop that goes from one to n and we close the for loop here. And what we are going to do in the for loop is that we are going to update the sum every time. So we are going to add the value uh, i uh, to the current value of sum. If we now want to print the result, one thing we can do is that we can print this result here and we can also print um, the exact result that uh, can be computed for this formula. So if we now run this code, you are going to see what happens. So if we type run and we hit enter, as you can see, the result is correct. We can try to do the same thing for a different value of n. Let's say this time we are going to try 200. So we go here, we type run again and we hit enter. And as you can see, the result is the same. Um, also, you have noticed that the code is exactly the same code that you would write in QBasic. So again, this is another example to show that if you know QBasic, you're, you already know Amiga Basic. So you already know how to program your Amiga in Basic. Um, this last example conclude uh, the video for today. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.